Hi, it's Caleb from Sedan Security and Electronics here, and today I've got an MVR with me. Uh, we don't know the IP address of the MVR, and the customer's lost the password, so we have no way of finding out what the IP address is. Um, occasionally, you can get around this by using config tool, but sometimes if the network ranges don't match, occasionally it won't show up. So the alternative is to grab a um, Ethernet adapter or connect your computer directly with an Ethernet cable into the network port of the MVR and then download Wireshark Network Analyzer. So this is Wireshark, this is the main page. Down the bottom you can see in the capture tab you have a list of your network adapters. If you want to confirm which network adapter it is you can also right click on your network down the bottom, open network settings, choose change adapter options, and have a look through here. So I know it's not Ethernet 2 because network cable is unplugged. All of my other ones are for VirtualBox and VMware. So I know it's Ethernet 14. Double clicking on Ethernet 14 down the bottom will open up the Wireshark Analyzer. There's a little chart here which is also quite useful. It shows you what network activity is actually happening on that port at this point in time. So after double clicking, Wireshark is now recording any network activity on that port. I'll let it run for a few seconds just to get some information. Okay, that should be enough. When you're done, you just hit the stop button in the top left hand corner. So now we can see all the packets that were being transferred on that port. So you can see here there's some that are have a Chinese name in them. You can see who has 10.13.7.1, tell 10.13.7.171. So that's an ARP request. So what that means is the MVR is actually sending packets looking for the default gateway, which is set at 10.13.7.1. And it's saying to tell it to 10.13.7.171. So that shows us that the IP address of the MVR is actually at 10.13.7.171. You could do this on a larger network as well without being connected directly into the network port of the MVR. But that could leave you with quite a lot of um, information and quite a lot of packets being captured. So the easiest way to narrow down the amount of packets you've got is by connecting it directly into the network port.